Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be unboxing my beautiful 5-in-1 expandable skillet. I am very excited to get it open and get to cooking on it, so let me get you all situated and we'll get ready to go. Alright, so I did pick this up at my local Walmart, since Drew Barrymore's beautiful products are in pretty much every Walmart. And right here you see your user guide extraction manual whatever whatever but as you can see it's in there pretty good a lot of good packing material so if you happen to get it shipped obviously i would assume they put it in a bo another box in you know put this box in a different one just to make sure that you have enough padding and whatnot very easy to get out Okay, and looks like this is a neat lid rest that just attaches to the unit. So that's kind of neat. I like that. That way you don't have to sit your lid down or find a spot to put your lid because you have your nice nifty little lid rest. So, there is that. Nice big lid. Obviously. And all kinds of other goods mixed in here. Power cord, obviously very important, because without it, you wouldn't be able to do anything with this other than stare at it. <laughs> and it looks like the highest, well, it doesn't actually say temperature wise, it just says low to high, so you can just kind of gauge how high you want it. This is neat, being able to have this little tray in here because I'm going to go ahead and make the assumption that you'll be able to cook multiple different things in here just with the fact of having this little tray insert. So that's pretty neat. Now I have everything unboxed here and obviously on page 12 of the instruction manual before using for the first time you're going to wash all of the parts that you can wash and there's a little note in here and it says the skill that base unit is fully immersible for easy cleaning. So that's neat that you can put this whole thing in water to clean it. And glass lid, extender ring, steam rack, and lid rest are top shelf dishwasher safe because you have this ring that I forgot to take off. So you can obviously cook more in it and so that's a nice feature and then it just says place the five in one expandable skillet base unit on a sturdy clean flat working surface and then insert leg rests into the holes so that's for this anyway we'll do all that a little bit later i just wanted to kind of breeze through this really quick and you don't even need to turn it on to like preheat or anything. It's pretty much ready to go once you get it all rinsed off. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all cleaned up and see if we can't cook something today. All right, so I have everything all clean and ready to go. Obviously it's off, <laughs> otherwise I would have just burnt my hand off. And I'm going to just sear some chicken breasts in here for dinner. So according to the manual, I don't need the steam basket tray or the expandable rim I guess that's what you would call it I don't need that tonight so I am going to turn my dial over here on to the medium and I'll let you guys see it obviously once I have it on and adjusted to the right temperature here and if I'm not mistaken in the manual, I told you 
tells you exactly what temperatures you're looking at when you set the dial. And I'll thumb through here and see if I can find it really quick. And I can already feel it heating up just talking to you. Yes, on page 13 of the instruction manual, there's a little tidbit here. A little side note and it says the temperature control offers five heat levels. Low is 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Medium low is 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Medium is 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And medium high is 350 degrees Fahrenheit and then high is going to be 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And like I said I put it on medium for my chicken and I'm going to drop a tablespoon of oil in here just to help, you know, the whole cooking process. So let me go grab that really quick. All right, so as you see, I did go ahead and put my oil in there and I'm going to let it heat up just a little bit longer. And this beautiful expandable skillet heats up very quickly. The light the indicator light on the little probe has actually already turned off so it is actually ready for me to put my food in there and so we're gonna go ahead and do that and I'm going to fit four chicken breasts that I sliced in I had four regular sized chicken breasts and I sliced them all in half. So, and that's a lie. I had two chicken breasts, sorry, and I sliced them in half and so now I have four thin cut pieces. And I am going to let them cook for four minutes on each side and I'm going to go ahead and close the lid to just help speed up the process a little bit. So I'll be back in four minutes here. All right, so the first four minutes have passed and I'm going to go ahead and lift the lid off and flip the chicken. I would put it on the lid rest that I have here but my cabinet door is in the way and so I can't really show how to do that just because well like I said my cabinet door is in the way. So obviously be careful as you see it's very hot. <laughs> Right. And in four more minutes, I will have cooked chicken. All right, so my eight minutes is totally up here. And for the sake of the video, I'm gonna lift the lid again. I'm gonna do it different so I don't smoke out my <laughs> camera lens. You know, it's all a learning process, really. And so these should be cooked to their internal right temperature especially since they're a little thinner and then it's going to be just as simple as can be as far as cleaning this because you're going to just let it cool down and then you could probably even just wipe it off with a towel obviously I'm going to do a little more than that but I wanted to get you guys up close here just so you could see the knob since I didn't get a chance to show you that earlier today uh, but here is the knob itself, and like I said, we're sitting a little over medium, and we're going to turn that off, obviously, because now we're done cooking. So, and now it's off, so you can actually unplug it from the unit. I might not be able to do this with just one hand, and I'm not going to do that with just one hand. But anyway, that is how you sear slash saute in your beautiful 5-in-1 expandable skillet.